Hey gang, this is workout number three. I'm just gonna give it to you right out of the gate. So we're going to do a 15 minute AMRAP, which stands for as many rounds as possible within 15 minutes. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna cycle through these three exercises. You're just gonna see how many rounds you can get, but we're not gonna go so fast that we sacrifice the quality of our movements. We wanna make sure that we're moving with integrity because moving with integrity and moving intentionally is going to be the difference between a okay workout and a fantastic workout. So, here's the workout. Here's the three exercises we're gonna do in this 15 minute time frame. We're going to do squats, we're gonna do push-ups, and straight leg raises. So, as we get into these squats, I have a bench here for both my push-ups and my squats. What I wanna do is if you're not very good at squats, and by that I mean if you've not practiced them and you cannot do a full squat, let me move this out of the way. If you cannot do a full squat, feet flat, abs tight, shoulder blades back and down, knees going off to the side, getting down nice and low. If you cannot do that, then you wanna make sure that you start on a bench because a bench is gonna help make sure that you hit the same depth every single time. It's gonna help make sure that you keep your abs tight and that you come up with your glutes. So, from the side, here's what that's gonna look like. I'm gonna get right here. I'm gonna start just like this. I'm gonna push my hips back, and then I'm gonna sit down onto that bench, chair, small animal, whatever you're using. And then on the way up, I wanna make sure that I'm digging through with my heels, right? Boom, just like that. So I'm gonna push my butt back, sit down on my hips, come back up, just like that, okay? So I'll just go ahead and show you just uh, how that looks just a little bit closer up. So as I sit down, I'm going to push my hips back, I'm gonna sit down on that bench, and when I come up, I wanna think about being able to wiggle my toes the entire time I'm coming up, right? So I'm sitting down, I'm standing up. Sitting down, standing up. The whole time I wanna dig through my heels. This isn't a long-term solution, it's just a short-term solution to help you get using your hamstrings and your glutes a lot more aggressively, right? If you find yourself doing this number right here as you come down, this is going to be haphazardous because that's gonna wind up in our knees. So if you feel your heels floating up off the ground as you squat down, we need to fix this. You also don't want your feet to do this as you're going down. If they start to cave in like that, this is gonna end up getting into my knees and I'll show you that here in just a second, but I want you to see what my feet are doing. This is a no-go. As you sit down, your feet ought to be like that, more so on the heels for right now. And then once you get very well versed in it, you keep your foot flat all the way through. Okay. So here's what all that looks like whenever you have your feet caving in, like we just talked about. When your feet are caving in, your knees do this, all right? Your knees are going in real narrow, just like that. And we cannot have this. Same thing, if you're going down on the toes, you end up looking like this number right here, right? My knees are going forward, my heels are floating up. These are both not good. Make sure you're sitting back on your heels, making sure that you are really getting everything back and down, digging through my heels, right? That's what I'm gonna do for my squats, okay? Now, of that we have the push-ups. So if you can do the push-ups on the ground, fantastic, do them on the ground. But remember, abs tight, glutes tight, shoulder blades back and down. I forgot to mention that for the squats, but you definitely want to be doing that during the squats as well. So, on the push-ups, let's say that I cannot do them on the floor, I'm gonna do them on an incline. You can use a, the arm of the sofa, you can use staircase, whatever, whatever you have available. I'm gonna start right here, just like this. I'm gonna have my feet pretty close, but this is what I'm gonna do. My hands aren't quite all the way underneath my shoulder, but they're gonna be pretty close. Now what's gonna happen is as I go down, squeeze my glutes. Let me show you the wrong way first. So this is the wrong way, okay? See my shoulder blades? are caved in, I'll move in here in a second, and my abs are coming undone. Nothing is right about this, and as I go down, I kind of look like this. Guys, this is not a push-up. This is a shoulder injury waiting to happen, okay? I want to make sure that my upper back, my shoulder blades are up, back, and down. My chest is up. I'm going to squeeze my glutes. I'm going to suck my belly button in, all right? Now, I'm in a good starting position. Now, these are harder. This is not the easier way to do a push-up. It's the right way to do a push-up. So, Elbows go straight back, you tap your stomach or the bottom of your chest, stomach or bottom of the chest on that bench, shoulder blades back and down. I don't want to dump my shoulders forward like this. I want to keep everything back and down, keep every 
Everything, not, lots of good tension here. Abs tight, glutes tight. Make that happen. If that doesn't feel right, I'm gonna move my hands up or my feet up a little bit. Come down like that, okay? So you see my elbows are going back. Now, from this angle, if my elbows are, if my hands are way too far off to the side, here's what's gonna happen. See this? And then I'm gonna start hitting a little bit closer to my face. From this angle right here, just like that. I'm gonna start coming down like this, right? And my face is gonna get really close, but not my chest. I don't want that. For the same reason, I don't want to, uh, I don't remember what I said earlier. Just make, every, make sure everything's backing down. Tap, come back up, okay? If you find yourself doing this number, coming down without my hips, this is also not a good push-up. It means we need to find a higher incline. Your whole body, from your shoulders to your ankles, should be moving at the same time. Everything goes down, everything comes up. If you can't do it at this angle, try something taller. Uh, you might even have to get up next to a wall and do wall push-ups. It's imperative that you keep your abs, glutes, and your lats together and in sync with each other the entire time you're doing the squats, the push-ups, basically everything we're doing, okay? Now let me zoom in and show you what those reps look like from here whenever we were talking about the push-ups. So here's what a breakdown of the midline looks like up close. So if I'm right here, I have my glutes tight, my belly button sucked in, my shoulder blades backing down, that's what we want. Now what I don't want are my abs to come undone and my glutes to come undone, right? Because then I have just a complete sway back, right? If I suck in my belly button, tighten up my glutes, it's gonna bring everything into a good position. The entire time I'm doing those push-ups, I wanna maintain my glutes and my abs. Once I let go of those, everything comes undone, and I really don't have a good position, and I'm teaching my midline some very bad habits that we do not want to continue with. And also, I don't know if you can see my shoulders here. Let's get a little bit closer. So, if you're going about your push-ups, you don't want your shoulders to come undone, right? If your head is drooping, like a cow grazing in the pasture, you want to fix that. Shoulder blades back and down, okay? Let's go from this angle right here. You can see a little bit better. So just like that, you don't want this. Shoulder blades back and down. Chest up, head neutral, okay? Okay, last thing here is we have the straight leg raises. This is one that a lot of people get wrong. So we're going to show you the right way. Let me show you what they look like in their whole movement. We're going to start right here just like this. We're going to bring our legs down, we're going to bring our legs up. This is a straight leg raise. Now, I'll show you a close-up view, but if you watch my lower back, right here, if I bring my legs down and my upper back comes up with me, this is going to wind up in your upper back. You do not want your lower back to move this much while you're doing any ab exercise, but specifically this one. So you want to start right here, suck your belly button into the floor, then pick your legs up, and then, Come on down, right? Now, if you get to like right here and you feel your abs come undone, then stop here, okay? The other thing is you don't wanna put your hands here or here because what happens is now your hands are doing the work that your abs are supposed to be doing. So you're cheating yourself out of a fantastic ab exercise, right? So what you're gonna do is start right here. I like to push my hands to the ground and start with my head up. It just helps me activate my abs a little bit better to start off this process. But as you start getting into it, if you can lower your head and do these straight leg raises, that's fantastic, right? If you really wanna make it difficult, pick your hands up, put them above your head, just do something where they're not helping you support, right? But these ought to be absolutely excruciating as we go through this workout, right? We're gonna to try to maintain the same position in our lower back the entire time we're doing this exercise, okay? Okay, so now if we zoom in, you can see what my abs are doing as I'm doing these straight leg raises. So from right here, make sure you guys can see me. So this is a very sway back, right? This is what, if I'm not doing anything, this is what my back does. Now, if I'm doing these straight leg raises, see how my back is a little bit close to the ground? If I go down and my lower back raises up with me, this is gonna get into my lower back really fast. So, squeeze the glutes, suck the belly button in, raise the legs up, and as you go down, you ought to maintain that same position with your abs the entire time. Now remember, you might need to put your hand down to help brace yourself, both hands. I'm using 
one hand because I got to show you what my back is doing. But you want to make sure that you keep everything nice and tight. If you can't go all the way down, then don't. Make sure you're maintaining a rigid midline as you're going about these uh, straight leg raises, okay? So that's the workout. Be sure to go through it and move with intention. Keep your glutes tight, your abs tight, and your lats tight. If you're not keeping those tight, then what's gonna happen is you're going to end up losing your midline and you're just gonna end up moving for the sake of moving. And you can do that for any workout, gang. You can go through, you can breeze through any workout that you can find online or on Pinterest or whatever, and you get absolutely nothing out of it. It's a matter of being intentional. Be intentional with what you're moving. This machine has to, to last the rest of your life. And if you treat it poorly, it's gonna go downhill real quick, right? Treat it well, it's gonna last you for a long time. Enjoy and be sure to hit the subscribe button at the bottom of this link and also be sure to post your score in the comments section, gang.